Hey there guys, I know today is supposed to be a new episode of Discuss the Skylands, but honestly, um, I just have no motivation to do Skylanders anymore. Basically, I look at it and I feel like it's just the same thing over and over and over again, and it's honestly boring. So, I don't want to upload Skylander content anymore, I want to switch to something new. There's a lot of other stuff on YouTube that's doing pretty well, and right now Skylanders is not the big thing, so, um, yeah, I think I'm just ready to give it up. But I do want your help with it. Um, in a Right after this little part, you're going to see three different clips of potential channel ideas for me. And I want you guys to watch each one of them, give me your honest feedback of which one you think I should do the most. Um, watch till the end of the video, make sure you watch all three. <coughs> Excuse me, getting choked up a little there. Watch all three, and then decide which one you want to see the most. But yeah, um, let me know at the end of the video if you either want Crash the Lego, Crash the Pokemon, or Crash the Minecraft. So watch all those. I'll see you at the end of the video. Thank you so much, and enjoy. Well, hey there, guys. Jack28, I mean, Crash the Pokemon here with another Pokemon video. Today, we are going to be doing this gaming card surprise bag that I got at Dollarama for $4. We're going to see if this is a real thing or it's a scam. This can contain some original steel packs. You got some card protectors, theme packs of certain cards. You can win some pretty awesome stuff in this. You can win ultra packs, color monsters, energy packs, trainer packs, two cards plus a holo card, and two cards plus a rare card. So it's a pretty interesting pack. We're going to check today to see if this is worth anything. So let's get this started. All right, so I got the top ripped open here, and let's see what we have in here. All right, a couple things in my hand, not too shabby. Now what do we have to start off with? We have some deck protectors. This is for protecting your cards. They seem to be a black plastic, so that's not too bad. Let's take one out and see what they feel like, see if they're any good. Yeah, the back is like a, um, a plastic mat, while this is the actual screen itself here, so that's a pretty good one. Not too bad for pack cards. And this is what we have for the actual pack itself. We have a four card pack, a trainer's pack with three cards, and a three card that's guaranteed one holo card and a mix of two common or uncommon cards. So let's see what we got in here. Open up with a four card pack first. Now this is from Pristine. If you guys don't know, they actually do a lot of the uh, scam Pokemon cards that you might see online with the uh, with the actual company itself. They usually take Pristine, sorry. They, uh, they take Pokemon cards and repack them. So here we go. Oh, card upside down, good start. We flip it, we have a Mawile. War Turtle, oh, Scraggy upside down, and a Phoebus. So we just get some regular common cards. They're nothing crazy. I think the War Turtle is pretty cool. They'll actually do like the little focus. I actually do like the design of the War Turtle there. The Mod Wild is pretty cool. But yeah, some basic cards. There's nothing wrong with that. Now we're going to open up this trainer's pack here now. This contains three cards. I'm assuming this is good for anyone who is trying to make a specific deck or something like that. I'm not sure. We have the trainer's pack. All right, it's upside down. That's a great start. They're all upside down. <laughs> we got a rare candy. If I'm not mistaken, this is actually a decent card to get. We got a welder and an ordinary rod. So the trainer's pack comes with some items, which makes sense, I guess, or some other items you can use. And of course, last but not least, the three cards, which is guaranteed a hollow card. So we're going to see how good that hollow card is. So, so far, the cards that we pulled, I don't think are worth really anything. It would have popped up on the screen if it did. And this is our hollow. Oh, it's a Reshram. Okay, a legendary might actually not be that bad. The price is coming up on the side of the screen there, so you see. Hey guys, when I was researching the price of these cards uh, on Troll and Toad, it came up for $0.59 cents to $9.99. So I'm not sure the actual price of this card. So let me know if I did pull a pretty amazing card from this Dollarama pack. Um, I'm not sure, so let me know in the comments below. I also got a Hoot Hoot. And a Rattata from Evolutions. Interesting combo pack there. But yeah, we got ourselves a hollow from it, so at least we got something. This is probably not worth a dollar, so unfortunately we're probably going to lose out money on this. Now, of course, this surprise bag was $4 at my local dollar store. Let me know in the comments if this pack was worth it. Did I actually break even? Card sleeve is not too bad. Card sleeve is pretty good. I'm actually probably going to use the card sleeve for sure. But yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this. And... I'll see you in the next video. Keep on catching, trainers. Hey there, guys. Crash the Legos here with you today, bringing another Lego Star Wars build of the Micro Fighter of the Millennium Falcon. This one's really exciting because I'm actually a big fan of Star Wars and Han Solo. 
definitely two of the most iconic figures in the Star Wars franchise, especially with the Millennium Falcon and Han Solo himself. Two baggies came with this one. The instructions themselves actually very clear. I was very surprised how easy this one was to build, especially with the instructions. A lot of pieces involved with it, so let's begin. So the first thing I noticed is Han Solo right away is the first thing you have to build. So of course I grab his pieces. Luckily they were all easy to find. It was only four pieces, including the head, the hair, the body and the feet and the feet was the hardest part to find as you can see there but the other cool thing is actually came with his gun so his phaser gun that came with him now I've always been a feeder of you know Greedo shot first so I fully agree with that Han Solo being one of my favorite characters so very excited to build this he's going to sit in the corner and watch this build itself was actually really easy I was surprised compared to the other ones I've done in my life how quick this one was to put together and how very intricate it was even though most of the details on it is actually covered up uh, if you actually look at the build in the end if I were to look at it, you can actually see most of the parts I put in there is actually hidden underneath so it's very surprising that they made very unique colors and varieties and stuff like that with it honestly the only part but with this that was a little bit issues was actually this little part coming up here now um, where I had to find little odds and ends to put in different places nothing actually was very hard overall this is an easy build for anyone who has ever made Legos or even if you're a slight fan of Star Wars this is something that I really enjoy doing Overall, just one of the most fun ones. Lots of little odds and then this part here was very weird where they had these little tails at the end. But as I found that they go behind, so they actually bend in behind the actual product itself. Um, as it was this part when I started realizing that everything was going to be covered, so I wasn't sure why they would do that. Like most of the, there's actually some really colorful pieces in there and most of them are covered up, which I find very interesting. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a intricate detail or something that along the lines, maybe if you break it down, you'll see the little pieces inside, but who would break down a Lego? So I'm not really, conf I'm really confused by that one. I'm not really concerned about it. Uh, we're about halfway through the build here now, and honestly, you can see me tearing through the pages pretty quickly. It's actually really easy to build. Ironically, I actually tore one of the pages off. You can see it move there in the clip a second ago there. Um, getting very close to the end, you can see I'm building the top. Now I got to do all the details on the top. Lots of little pieces involved with this one, so make sure you're in a good lit area so you can be able to see all the pieces. A lot of them are darker than the others, and some are very small. The bottom of it, however, is kind of interesting. It's like four little flat circle pieces, so it kind of like slides and kind of grips perfectly into place. So it's not really flat it's kind of poked up a little bit now this is where I'm working on all the little intricate details and stuff like that there's a little area where you put the guns on top and everything which the guns are really cool we'll get to that at the end of the video there so slowly putting everything together here the top of the grill looks very much like the Millennium Falcon it's definitely one of the coolest builds I've built especially if you're a Star Wars fan and as you can see we're reaching the end here now so we're putting on the last little bits of pieces all we need to do after this is take Han Solo and put him in the seat pretty exciting to put this all together here as you can see, the last little parts were a little bit hard to get in because I didn't realize those were the guns that are actually working. So I had no clue they were workable guns. And as I switched to the last page, I realized that's the end. So Han Solo gets to sit in his Millennium Falcon here, even though he does not sit on the outside, he sits inside because you're in space, you would die if not. And this is the final build. So there is the micro fighter of the Millennium Falcon featuring Han Solo and with a workable part which I'll now show you in a second so the cool thing on top is there's these two little laser guns they actually do work so one kind of disappears it shoots right off screen while the other one actually hits the camera so it's pretty funny so that's going to do it for this Lego build if you guys enjoyed let me know leave a like and a comment below let me know your favorite Star Wars character and what Lego builds you'd like to see me do in the future but thank you all so much and I will see you in the next video Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. This is the PlayStation 3 edition. I know, I'm very sorry, I'm still behind in the times when it comes to catching up with the latest gen systems. I do have Minecraft on PS4, I just don't have any way to record it. Regardless, welcome to another episode of the Minecraft Challenges. Last time, um, we didn't have a last time. Haha. <laughs> so today we're going to be doing a challenge here on Minecraft. Literally, I'm going to load up the game. I don't need to play on PlayStation Network, how about that? Come on, let me... You gotta be signed in? Okay, never mind. Okay, I don't know why I was doing that. That was weird. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be doing a challenge, a very simple one, where I have to try to find a village within a time size. Create, create a new world. We're going to do create a new world. We're just going to go straight from there. A little trial size goat. Goat, I think, was the one I originally had in this. Um, so, yeah. So, what I'm going to be doing is creating a brand new world here. We're just go We're going to name it... The YMCA, and if you don't know why MCA, you should know. The village people, you know? I'm gonna do survival difficult and normal, and he's just gonna be the same here and create a new world. So I have five minutes to try to find 
a village within Minecraft here. So we're going to set up the timer here now while this is loading. And as soon as my feet touch the ground, I have five minutes to try to find a village as fast as I can here in Minecraft. This is going to be very exciting. I'm excited. If you guys are excited, let me know by leaving a like down below. And in the comments, let me know what I should do for a future episode of this series. Should I try to find a diamond within five minutes or a tree? I bet... I bet I can find a tree within five minutes. I, I don't know. I think I know, I know I'm not that talented, but we'll see here now. So while this loads up, I hope you guys are excited for this episode of this Minecraft edition just like myself. Way back when, I actually used to do a series on my old YouTube channel called um, Pushpin Gamer called Diamond Rush, where I have 10 minutes to find a diamond within a randomly generated world. I would love to bring that series back again. So if you guys want it, let me know in the comments below and I will bring that one back. The only issue is loading stuff. And the timer has begun. It is time for some Minecraft. You guys are wondering, I'm Sly Cooper from the hit franchise, Sly Cooper. All right, so we got to try to find a village as fast as... Are you serious? Wow! Fastest episode yet! I mean, it's the debut episode, of course. It took only a few seconds and we found a village. Hello! 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 Wow! That was the fastest episode of Village Run Hunt ever. Look at all these village people. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. This is barely a village. You guys got nothing here. We got a ladder at least. Heck yeah. Ladder, baby. Let's go. Spruce fence? More like destroy. Nice. Look at that. Wow. We found a village literally within seconds. It was 13 seconds from what my timer says. That is the fastest episode of this show ever. Wow, enjoy that one. <laughs> Ooh, I hurt myself. All right, we're gonna go over and just destroy this tree just for the fun of it. But yeah, there we go. So that's a quick episode. So that's gonna do for this episode of the Minecraft challenges here. Of course, it's a working name crash challenge, maybe. I'm not sure. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, let me know. Believe in a like and a comment below. I'm just gonna hang out and play a little bit of this world here now while I... Uh, well, I just try to kill some time, you know, to make this episode longer. <laughs> I gotta hit that 10-minute mark. But yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this. Leave a like and a comment below. And uh, we'll go from there. Oh, I did something wrong. I literally don't know how to play this game. Why do I even play Minecraft? I'm so bad at it. I'm good at the PC version. I'm terrible at the computer version. That's the same thing. Here's a cave. Ow. Let's see how fast I can fall down and die. There's no exit. I hate myself. Yeah, second thought, I think I'm going to stick to Skylanders. Happy April Fool's Day, everybody. <laughs> if I got you, let me know in the comments below. If you didn't know, today's April Fool's Day, April 1st. Haha, <laughs> Crash the Scans is going nowhere but up. So yeah, um, Discuss the Scans will be returning next week. Don't worry, I decided to do this video this week just because of that. So Discuss Scans will be next week. Don't worry about that. But hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you didn't take it too seriously. And I hope you resubscribe after you unsubscribe. Thinking that it's over now. There's nothing but Skylar content on this channel. That's the rule. Tomorrow's new episode of Solar Run. And you got a new video coming up on Saturday. So uh, actually, it's an Easter video. Nice. Check that one out. Well, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And um, remember, it was a prank. I'm not going anywhere. Crash the Scans is still here to stay. Crash the Minecraft seems pretty interesting, though. But as always, I bid you farewell.